What's good YouTube? It's your boy 20D2 Wild checking in once again with the review of the upcoming Jordan 1 Team Red. The Jordan 1 Team Red is set to release on April 27th for a retail price point of $180. And they're currently already on the secondary market going for around $130. And in my opinion though, they nice. Like I really like them. Like this seems like an old school color model. You know, we look back at the Jordans that released back in the 85s era, Jordan 185. You look at, you know, you got your, your white metallic navies, uh, your uh, metallic reds, metallic purples, metallic greens. Um, you got a lot of those and then you got just some typical ones, even like the ones he had recently with the white and black. It's just kind of like or the, the UNC. It just got that type of collegiate style to it, that college type of look and style, hence the name Team Red in a way. Like it gives an old school look, an old school feel. And I probably am getting that feeling from the fact that it's kind of like how we see some of these Nike Dunks. We see a lot of Nike Dunks like the Syracuse, uh, the Kentucky, um, Varsity Mace like Michigan. We see a lot of different Nike Dunks that kind of have those collegiate colors. And that's what I saw a lot when I looked at this. Now, what particular college that I could say that this kind of reminds me of? Um, that part I can't, I, I can't think off the top of my head. I mean, you got the hookies, but they got more of that burgundy and that orange, not as much of that white. But I guess, of, yeah, I guess they, we could say technically like their home team jersey would probably be uh, white or maroon or hey, even like Lower Marion High School, Kobe Bryant, you feel me? Got that, that white and that burgundy. In my opinion though, these are very, very solid and this is definitely a shoe that I like. Like I honestly may jump out and grab it, but I gotta be honest, it's going for $180 and it's currently in the secondary market going for below that. I kind of like, you know, I might need to wait a little bit. I might need to let these sit and 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 die out. Um, we recently did see, if you look back up once again, we have the white and black 85 highs. Those did well, they're 85 highs. But we recently had also, I think when in February, right, the Jordan 1, the white and black Jordan 1 that dropped along as well. And those are, they I think Soul Play just did like a 30% off on those recently. Um, I told you guys, I'm here for the y'all. I'm here for the consumer. I'm a consumer. At the same time, I want the brands to prosper because if the brands po prosper, they'll do more for the consumer. If the brand's not prospering, then they can't provide for the consumer. It's a love-hate relationship that it has to equal out. It has to have an equilibrium. And what I'm saying by that is, hey, I love to sit here and tell you, don't buy this shoe and release date for 180. Buy it and uh, uh, wait, you'll get it for on sale and then you go and get that on sale. But the issue is, is that we continue down this pipeline I don't know what this may end up happening to Nike down the road because Nike might not, like they're not gonna keep doing these things if it's not making the money. They're gonna make some super drastic changes, which I ain't gonna lie, I'm kinda curious to see what that is. Bam, with that being said though, let's just talk more about the shoe because I'm all over the place. On the shoe itself, this is white slash team red, eight and a half, that's it. You see the box? I stated before it's more line of a, of a burgundy colorway more than like a team red or I mean maybe this is the color of team red when I think of team red though I think closest to that fire red color um, in general like a more brighter red not something of a maroon burgundy type of uh, color but I mean maybe it's just me also these do come with a second additional set of laces which is that team red color right there so if you want to make that thing pop panties drop um, you could do so right there, but quality um, overall solid nothing no issues whatsoever no widow's peaks I, 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 I like these more than the white and black ones that we got recently on the inside you got the burgundy with the white jump man um, I don't know if you can see it. It's dark up in that hole right there like a you know, it looks dark bro. You know what I'm saying? You got also the Nike air on the tongue I like the white with that, but I, I, I ain't gonna lie. They should have flipped it. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be picky but toe box good leather quality nothing insane pretty typical for this type of color blocking once again um we did something on the georgia peach which is kind of like a very similar color blocking 
of uh, a, fire, uh, a white cement swapped out for the different colors there with the cosmic clay. This is once again, another similar situation. Like these are pretty much the same UNC uh, type of color blocking, which UNC would look just like this, but you swap all that team red out for that UNC or that, you know, that uh, baby blue. It's kind of the same thing. So we've seen this color scheme in different colors on the Jordan 1 a lot. And um, it's a very, very basic shoe, but it's a very nice shoe that you can rock with a lot of different things. And I might try and grab these on a sale. Like I, I, I want to get these and I want these like personally, like they're saying it's not a pass for me, but I don't know if I feel okay with saying oh, I spent 180. I just don't know if I feel that way. Like, I don't know if I like that right now when I know that they're already in the secondary market, but at the same time, I'm not quick to go jump and buy at the secondary market because I don't necessarily always, always trust what's going on there. But these are very solid. I don't know the last time I've said that where like, I like a shoe a lot and I want to buy a shoe, but I'm not buying it at retail. Like, yeah, maybe I've said that more often. Maybe I've, yeah, I've maybe said like 200 is too much. This is this, it's not even too much because we know if it was like a Travis Scott, I wouldn't even say that. I just think it's the fact that we know, or I know I can get it for less than what it's gonna be going for if I just wait it out. And that's where I'm at with this now. But me personally, very nice shoe, releasing on the 27th. Um, these were initially on the 20th, they got pushed back to the 27th and swapped or swapped their dates with the Green Glows, which are releasing on the 20th. So we got the Green Glows releasing on the 20th, the Georgia Peaches on the 23rd, and now these Team Reds releasing on the 27th. Um, Team Red, more so for me, Burgundy, but to each his own. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section as always. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.